This new 2023 version of DDM sees an enhancement to the CAD data import tool. Uh, I've got the CAD data import tool loaded on the screen here, and we're going to choose to analyze some data before we import it. The enhancement is the inclusion of IonCAD. So we can now import IonCAD data as a mass import exercise. I'm going to choose next. I've chosen a path here. I have a folder that's containing an assembly, all of its subparts and drawings, uh, kindly donated by Solid Meccana, our DDM partner in Sweden. So I'm going to choose this folder. OK, uh, I don't need to use any of the other options. I'm going to leave this all as standard. We're not going to choose any options here. And we're going to choose to analyze the data. Let's start the analysis. What we see here in IonCAD is the loading and the saving of all of the files so that it can analyze them, understand their relationships, etc. There are 55 files that it's found and it will work its way through all of those. It's starting with the first 19 parts and um, because this doesn't take too long, we're going to let this run real time. OK, so the analysis is now complete. I'm going to minimize IonCAD. And as you can see here that we found 55 IonCAD items and analyzed them in two minutes and five seconds. Two of the items are already known to DDM and have been previously imported. I'm going to close this dialog. Next, what we want to do is we want to go to the import data wizard. It's found ICS and ICD files, scene files and drawings. Let's choose next. We're not going to reserve these uh, new imported files into an existing folder because we're going to assign them to the category. I've, I've chosen the option here to use new numbering for everything that I'm importing, including anything that's already in DDM. I'm going to re-import it under a new number. You do have the, cho the, the option to say don't import or attach a new file to the existing record. For the purposes of this demonstration, I want to allocate a new number to everything. So in this window, for parts and assemblies, we can grab the attributes from the IonCAD files and link them to the attributes inside the DDM database. So this screen is for doing parts and assemblies. And as you can see here, the DDM attribute description one, we are mapping that to a description parameter against the models inside IonCAD. OK. Also here, we are assigning this to this category, which is our part test importing. If we choose next, we're then going to drawings, and we do the same for drawings. 
where we can map the CAD parameters in the files against the DDM attributes. These are all the files that we're going to import. Okay, we can see the original file name in the first column, and we're going to take the option to generate a new DDM number. If you want to, you can keep the existing file name because for many businesses, this will be the correct part number or drawing number. Let's start the import. Okay, I'm going to bring IronCAD back to the foot front so we can see what's happening. So it's working its way through, importing all the data for me. So the analysis took approximately two minutes and five seconds. I would expect that the import will take a similar amount of time, or possibly less. So nearly there, 50 of 55 files have been imported. And we're going to take a look at those files inside the DDM office environment as soon as the import is finished. However, what I would like to show you is uh, an enhancement that came into DDM in the 2022.06 version. And that is the, the, um, the DDM action server also now supports IronCAD. So I'm just gonna bring my, let's just wait for this to finish, 55, and there we go, we finished all 55 records imported successfully. So I'm gonna close this now, and what I'm gonna do here, close the import tool, is I want to bring across, this is my DDM server machine, which is running in a virtual machine. And as we can see here, that I've configured my action server client to auto generate neutral file formats against IronCAD files. This is all configurable. Um, what I've got it set to do is to create step files for all of the parts and uh, PDFs for all of the drawings. So this is just running in the background on the server. The server needs to have uh, the IronCAD software running on it um, in order that it will it will do its job. Okay, I'm gonna leave that running, so it's currently working on five of 47 files. I'm gonna drag this away now onto another screen, and we're gonna go back into DDM, search and open, and we're gonna do a refresh on this category, and as we can see here, these are all of our files that have just been recently imported. Uh, the This is the Sterling motor here it's a, a linear a sterling linear engine 
and I'm going to double click to load it. It understands all of its child relationships and I'm going to load this into iOnCAD. And there we are. Okay. I could also choose the option add-ins. Let's go and load the related drawings and we've got two different drawings related. Okay, if I just wanted to see this drawing, I can select it and it will go and load the drawing for me. Okay. So, I'm going to close this out. I'm going to close the assembly. And while I'm here, uh, again, thank you to uh, Solid Meccana, our DDM partner in Sweden, for supplying this uh, really, really quite nice model of a uh, linear Stirling engine. Yeah, thank you very much. Right, let's close this out. Uh, okay, and then we're going to pop back into DDM. If I select a drawing, okay, that one's not been completed yet, but on some of these there will be a PDF that's already been generated. If we look at some of the parts in the attachments, we now have a step file. So these are the neutral files being generated behind the scenes on the server after the import. Okay, so DDM 2023 enhancement on the import tool to support iNCAD. The next enhancement to the import tool in DDM version 2023 is the ability to import SolidWorks toolbox parts from the toolbox library into DDM and convert them into standard parts so that they are being broken away from the toolbox. The benefit of this is that every time you load an assembly it doesn't have to go and verify itself in the toolbox etc. Okay, uh, I'm going to begin by going into DDM. I'm going to load DDM and I'm just going to look in my category browser under parts, purchase parts, uh, fixings and woodruff keys. So at the moment I don't have any woodruff keys in my DDM database. I'm going to go to the import tool. Before I do that, let's just have a look uh, in my Windows file system because I've got a set of data in here. Uh, import CAD files, SolidWorks, toolbox parts. So under the Woodruff keys, these are parts that I've exported from the SolidWorks toolbox to this location. Okay. So we're inside DDM and we don't currently have any saved in here. I'm going to now start the DDM import tool. I'm going to log in as the administrator, accept the liability. And we're looking at SolidWorks data. I'm currently running SolidWorks 2023. I'm importing from the file system, not from Workgroup PDM or Enterprise PDM. And I'm going to point the import tool at a folder in my file system for toolbox parts, woodruff keys, which is a temporary location that I have created. OK, I'm going to keep all of the other settings as default. You do have to tell the import tool where your toolbox is located. OK, next. Take all the defaults. Uh, I don't need to analyze family parts because uh, these are not sets of configurations. They are individual parts. And I'm going to start the analysis. So we found 16 SolidWorks files and we analyzed them immediately. And none of the items are already in DDM. We're now going to use the import wizard. This is confirming that it's found SLDPRT files. Next, we're not going to reserve them into a folder. And I'm going to auto number my files as I import them to give them a standard part number. You have the option of auto numbering or keeping the existing file name. Next. So in this window, we have the ability to map the parameters from the files to the database attributes uh, the one that I'm choosing here is I've got a CAD uh, attribute here called description and I've got 16 descriptions, which means all of my parts have got a valid description against them. I'm going to bring everything in as issue one, work in progress, and I'm going to bring them into the category part test importing. Next. So 
these are the files that are going to be imported here and I'm going to allocate a new DDM number at the point of import so we'll see those populate as we move forward start the import yes so it's working through importing the files and the enhancement is to convert those from toolbox parts to standard parts I'm going to close the import tool I'm going to go back into DDM and I'm going to go down to our test importing category and here we see all of the newly imported parts now to test this if I come back out of DDM and I create a new SolidWorks assembly normally when you create an assembly that contains toolbox parts they have a different icon if I say load a sub part and I'm going to bring a wood rough key into my assembly you'll see here that it has a standard SolidWorks icon and not the bolt icon which would indicate that it comes from the toolbox so this enhancement to DDM 2023 is for the import tool for SolidWorks to be able to convert toolbox parts into standard parts